Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In the previous video, I showed you how to create the blog list page of our website. So if I click on this view all posts, here we can see that we have this page where we have the list of our blog posts displayed over here. Now in this video, we will create the sidebar of our website and also make this responsive. So let's get started. Now this is how the sidebar looks. We have the popular posts over here. We have the recent comments and the categories and also this download button. And if I decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look. We have the sidebar displayed at the bottom. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file, which is bloglist.html. And let's go to the aside, which is the sidebar. And here let's add the content of the sidebar. Now the first thing we need to add is uh, this uh, popular posts widget. So I'll just create a division with the class of widget. And let's also give it a class of popular posts. And in this widget, let's go ahead and create a heading. So let's create an S3 and let's type popular posts. And in there we need to have these three popular posts displayed over here. So for that, let's create a division with the class of widget content. And in this, we will have a card. And in the card, we will have the image. So let's type images forward slash blog one dot jpg in the source. And let's also add the title of the post. So let's create an anchor tag. And uh, here you can add the link of your post. And here let's go ahead and type this text. So I'll just copy this. And let's paste it over here. And let's go ahead and copy this card and paste it two more times. And let's change the content. So let's change this to block2.jpg and this one to block3.jpg. And let's change the headings. So the second one is this heading right here. So let's copy this and paste it over here. And the third one is this one right here. So let's paste it right here. Now if you go back to our website here, we can see that we have the popular post widget displayed. Now the next thing is the recent comments. So we can go ahead and copy this widget from here and paste it down here for the recent comment. And we also have categories. So let's copy it down one more time. So let's scroll up and let's go to the second widget. And here let's change the class name to recent comments. And here in the heading, let's type recent comments. Now in the recent comments, we need to have the comment displayed with the name of the commenter. And this text is basically a link. So let's create an anchor tag. So we'll just remove everything inside the card. And let's create an anchor tag. And for the href, I'll just type hash for now. And here let's add this text. So I'll just copy this. And let's paste it over here. Now for the name of the commenter, we need to make it bold. So I'll just create a strong tag over here. And uh, let's cut this ending tag and paste it after the name. So now we can see that we have this bold name over here. And let's go ahead and uh, delete these two cards. And let's copy this card one more time. And uh, for the second one, let's copy this comment from here. And I'll just paste it over here. And let's change this Jane Smith to a strong tag. And uh, here we can see we have both the comments displayed. Right now the next widget is the categories widget. So let's go back and uh, here let's change the name of this class to categories list. And here for the heading, let's type categories. Now in the widget content, we need to have all these labels displayed over here. So let's go ahead and delete all these cards from here. And let's add anchor tags for the labels. So here for the first label, let's go ahead and type animation. And uh, let's add the class of label over here. And I'll just duplicate it five more times. And let's change the text over here. So we have networking game dev And then we have tips and tricks, programming and advanced.
And then lastly, we have this uh, download button. So let's go outside this widget and let's create a division of the class of widget. And here I'll just give it a class of download BTN. And let's create the download button over here. So let's create an anchor tag. And here let's tab download free ebook. All right, so that's basically it with the HTML of our aside. So now let's go ahead and style this using CSS. So let's go to a style.css file and uh, let's scroll down. Here we can see that for the aside, we have added this width. So I'll just go ahead and cut this from here and let's paste it down here so that we have all the code for aside in a separate place. So let's tap aside or let's tap sidebar over here and let's paste the code and let's start adding the CSS. Now, first of all, let's set the display to flex for this aside and let's set the flex direction to column and let's add a gap of 60 pixels between each of the widgets. Right now let's style the S3 of the asides. So here we can see that we have S3 for the heading of the aside. So let's go ahead and type aside S3. And let's add a background color of var dark color. Let's set the color of the text to var light color. Let's set the padding to 12 pixels top and bottom, 24 pixels left and right. And let's text align it to the center. And let's set the font size to 18 pixels and uh, Let's set the letter spacing to 1 pixels and let's add a margin bottom of 16 pixels. And this is how the heading looks. Now for these anchor tags inside the aside, let's go ahead and add a line height. So let's tap aside A and let's set the line height to 1.7. Right now let's add some styles to all the widget content. So let's type aside widget content. So here we can see that we have this uh, widget content division inside each of the widgets. So let's go ahead and set the display to flex and the flex direction to column. And let's add a gap of 24 pixels. Right now let's style this popular posts division. So here we can see we have this uh, division with the class of popular posts. So let's step aside popular posts and let's set the display to flex, flex direction to column and let's set a gap of 24 pixels. Right now let's style the cards inside the popular post. So here we can see we have this card division and in that we have the image and the anchor tag. So let's tap aside, popular post, card and let's set the display to flex, align items to the center and let's add a gap of 16 pixels. And now we can see that the image is on the left side and the content on the right side. Now let's go ahead and set the height and the width of the image. So let's type aside popular posts IMG and let's set the width to 60 pixels and let's also set the height to 60 pixels. And this is how it looks. And now if we scroll down here we can see that we have the recent comments and it is being displayed correctly. Let's scroll down and here we have the categories. So let's style these categories. Let's go back and uh, let's type aside and uh, we have the class name as categories list so let's tap dot categories list and let's target the widget content of the categories list so let's type dot widget content and for this let's set the display to flex and the flex direction to row and let's set the flex wrap to wrap so that it wraps to the next line and let's add a gap of 8 pixels right now let's style these labels inside the categories list so let's type aside categories list label and let's set the color to var light color and let's set the font size to 13 pixels and this is how the categories look so everything is looking all right now let's style this download button. So let's go back and let's type aside download btn and uh, let's type background and let's set the background color to ff385c and uh, let's add a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom 24 pixels left and right. Let's set the color to var light color and let's set the text align to center and let's set the font weight to bold. And this is how the button looks. 
Now the color of the text has not changed. So let's go back and let's remove the download button class from here. And let's add it over here. So I just tap class download btn. And now we can see that the color works all right. So let's also change the width. And let's set the width to 100%. And let's set the display to inline block. And now we can see that the button looks all right. All right, now the last thing we will do is we will make this responsive. So if we decrease the width of the browser window, when we are less than 1000 pixels, we will bring this aside down. So let's type at media max width of 1000 pixels. And here let's type post container container. And let's set the flex direction to column so that the elements are one below the other. And now if we decrease the width of the browser window, here we can see that the aside moves down. Now if you go to the original design, here we can see that the width of the aside doesn't change. So for that, let's go back and uh, let's go to the width of the aside. And here let's also add a min width of 300 pixels so that it will not go below 300 pixels width. So now if we decrease the width of the browser window, we can see that everything looks all right. And here we can see that the aside moves down. And uh, now when we bring the aside down, we need to set the width of all the elements to 100%. So let's go back and uh, here we can see that we have set the width to 300 pixels. So let's scroll down and here, let's tap aside width to 100%. And uh, this is how it looks. And now when we are less than 800 pixels, we'll also remove the space at the top. So let's add a media query for that. I'll just tap at media max width of 800 pixels. And let's tap post container container. And uh, if you scroll up and go to the post container selector, here we can see that we have set a margin top of 100 pixels. Let's scroll down and uh, let's add a margin top of 60 pixels. And uh, now we can see that when we are on smaller screens, we don't have the space at the top. But if we go to larger screens, we have this space. And uh, here for max width of 1000 pixels, let's also set the width of the image. So let's tap post container blog list. And in that we have the card and in that we have the IMG tag. So it is right here. Here we can see that we have this uh, blog list division and in that we have these cards. So let's go ahead and set the width of the image to 100%. And uh, now when we reduce the width of the browser window, here we can see that everything looks all right. So with that, we have completed creating our blog list page of our website. And we have also made it responsive. So that's basically it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to create the single blog post page for your website. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.